And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer's Pursuit. It's going to be our next deck today. Um, this is going to be a deck where we're going to be trying to get the um, Pursuit of Perfection. That's what Heimerdinger is going to be pursuing. If we play 20 cards with different names this game, we get to summon Catastrophe. One mana, 30-30, Overwhelm. So we need to play a lot of different cards with different names. We also have um, Sub Percival in here that whenever we play cards with at least 10 different other names, this will be a 5-5 five, five elusive withdrawing a card. So there's three Sub Percivals, there's three Heimerdingers, and two Pursuit of Perfection. And that's it as far as cards that are not one ofs. The other 32 cards are all one ofs in here. So we got a little bit of everything. Um, a good amount of like lifesteal stuff, like there's Herald of Spring, uh, Tasty Fae Folk, um, Kinku Life Blade, so a good amount of um, of lifesteal stuff. We have a Ren Shadow Blade in here, uh, just kind of a little bit of everything in Ionia and PNZ. It looks pretty interesting. This was a viewer submitted deck. Looks looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, lots of ways to play multiple cards, and uh, that's what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to go play five games just over and normal today because it's meme tier Monday. Um, let's see how we do. All right, looks like we're playing against Twisted Karma. Yeah, we even got a Dragon's Rage in here. Got a little bit of everything. All right, well, Get Excited does kill Twisted Fate and Karma. We'll mulligan Dragon's Rage, because that's slow. We don't need Sub Percival right away. That's a card that you don't really need in your opener. We'll keep the Eye of the Dragon and the Get Excited. And kind of go from there. See what happens. Wonder if this Kempunk Pickpocket will hit them. Maybe they'll have nothing to do on turn two and no removal on three. What you looking for? Maybe no removal here. I'm sorry, nickname. I'm sorry. Okay, they passed. No Check removal. Goods on this one. No removal, please. Rain from a cloudless mm. sky. You lack subtlety. Nope, got a blocker. A good combo. Key Guardian and Claws of the Dragon. Well, I guess I'm going to have to start playing cards. None of these I really want to play. I'm going to just lead with the Flash of Brilliance and see what we get. Maybe we get, you know, like a. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Blue card. Soak it in. Maybe we get like the seven mana card that you know does like three, two, and one damage wise. That'd be the best possible. That's just gonna kill both of those, but I take six. The dragon remembers. And that's two spells. Now we'll have Draggling for next turn. What is gained when we return malevolence? All right, go get him, Draggling. Their Twisted Fate's at four out of eight. Like a fish in water. Oh, five out of eight. I don't want to like use all of my mana to kill that. Or I guess... Force is meaningless. Oh no! Why was I thinking I was going to have two mana left? <laughs> I got two mana left. Right, so now they're at six. They just need to draw two. Hopefully I can get excited it. I guess I'm discarding Will of Ionia. Keep up, keep up. Is all 
Alright, so they shouldn't have any way to stop Thermogenic Beam now. But again, that just uses all my mana. Alright, Twist of Fate's out. I will not hold back. We're at 7 out of 10 for Subper with Subpercival. Breathe in, breathe out. Does it? I don't think it makes a lot of sense just to twin disciplines just to turn on the challenger. Deal me in. Blue as the serpentine. Order, entropy, a never-ending cycle. Right, so we could be going down to nine. I like retreat return. Retreat Return's good. That's two spells. Two spells for Heimerdinger. Two spells for Lee Sin. Let's do this. Through the coral. We can just try this. Conflict is all in the mind. This is still two different name spells. Each one of these turrets that you make is a different name. Well, each different turret. All right, looks like we're going to do this now. A wise retreat. All right, Subversible is turned on now. Yes, yeah, so that's three pocket aces. They were definitely a lot of those. A lot of, a lot of pocket aces. It's kind of awkward. I don't have more, any more spells. Cause you know, I want to play a spell and turn on the challenger for Lee Sin. But I mean, I guess it's, it would just be concussive bomb. But I don't know if that's a very good use of concussive bomb. You can't do this. You're strange. Wouldn't it be that difficult for them to save uh, Twisted Fate, also. Yeah, there's no reason to. I guess. I guess casting return on the turret. Yeah, like so like it would have cost me the one mana, so I wouldn't have been able to play my five mana unit. So like I couldn't play Subpercival and do that or play Heimerdinger and do that. Oh, the sweet smell of science. Yeah, those those blocks were a little odd. It seems like they just don't care about those things and all they care about is twisted fate. That's what it's felt like for how my opponents played. Would have loved to have Trail of Evidence last turn. I'm gonna just pass while they're passing here. That's a good one. I'll see this through. My lands need me. Prepare yourself. Um. Meow, meow, meow. I will not hold back. Just doing this to level up Lee Sin so I'll that. Fight. We have the Dragon's Rage happening. Makes it- it's not impossible, but it makes it more difficult for them to keep Lee Sin alive. Or keep Twisted Fate alive. Dead in 
their tracks. So we're at 14 right now. We're going to go to 15, 16. I don't know if... That was a mystic shot they stole from me that cost zero because of two black market merchants. I don't know if zero mana veteran investigator is even worth playing. Or if I just don't play the card. Um, after this turn, it's from Trail of Evidence, it costs zero right now. After this turn, it's going to go back up to being um, two mana, but I just don't even know if it's worth playing. So I think I'm going to just play... Yeah, I'm going to play Shen. Two worlds, one balance. Back at the table. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it giving them more cards. begins within. Ionia speaks through me. Soak it in. I wonder how many Nopifies, or not Nopify, but no, Whimsy. No, I wonder if they're no. playing more Whimsies. They would turn my 30-30 Overwhelm Obviously, they have gold card that can stun it, but I can try to work around that. Um, I do need to clear up space on the board. The dragon I should have played the Concussive Palm and tried to challenge the Twisted Fate. I don't know if it would have worked, but I should have tried. So they put the Ephemeral copy in their hand also. I'm a people person. So that ephemeral copy also cost zero? Why would the ephemeral copy cost zero? So now I can play Veteran Investigator because their hand's going to be filled. All in the oh, right. Karma costs zero. They'll just be able to replay that. All right. Maybe not hand filled. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. I want them to play I want them to play three things and get to gold card first and then I play Pursuit of Perfection. Now, yeah, Stand United could maybe do some work. Now I don't have I can't go like Pursuit and Stand United. Take time to care for others. So they just burn that card? Cool. I just have one less blocker now, also. I guess I could just go to attacks. Give two things challenger. Challenge both champions. Our enemies cannot hide. I find them unworthy. Fight firmly. Prepare yourself. We gotta try this. 
everywhere. Dragon approaches. It's still me killing both of their champions. I'm taking nine. The enemy quivers with fear. Well, that's useless. That doesn't do anything. I don't think there's a way to do an additional 7 points of damage, even with Stand United, with all the things that Stand United can do. Um, Stand United Resonating Strike. No. Not, unfortunately, because because they are... The King um, they are needed. Because they're going to be stunning my 8-5, and it doesn't matter where I put my 8-5. They're stunning the 8-5. I should, I should probably cast the Resonating Strike there, but ran out of time. So I'm doing one less point of damage to them to save Shen. Because instead of us doing 5 damage with the Subpersible, now we're only doing 4 damage with the Shen. Could have cast this resonating strike and made it six, but kind of ran out of time. Water changes, but never breaks. All right, so the key card in that card, so that card's got to be another twisted fate, right? So we've killed two twisted fates. That one has to be a third twisted fate. Oh, okay, it was just another Karma. Cool, no deny. Conflict is all in the mind. That's good, no deny. Alright, we got our 30-30 in there. They obviously can have a bunch of, like, they have, you know, Stun, Will of Ionia, you know, if they just have another Twisted Fate. Like, there's a lot of options they have in, in Ionia. Ionia has a lot of ways to deal with this, but we're going to force them to have something. They kind of have to deal with this, but then I'm sitting here chilling, like with my lease in. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. Yuck! Got another one of those. These are dangerous lands. I have Ezreal in my deck. Balance favors you. Repost lease in. Enforced equilibrium. I go unseen. And go. Center your spirit. Prepare yourself. So this is, you know, obviously I have to play three things to stun my catastrophe. But now I also have the Lee Sin, which is going to be the ten powers. They got to deal with that also. So they have these two things that they definitely have to deal with. And then I just have like some other little annoying things. And then if if we could take down the Twisted Fate, this would be the all three Twisted Fates gone. By force of will. Spring does not pity winter. Hey, yeah, I mean, it won't be too difficult for them to weasel their way out. All they have to do is play three spells and one spell. Um, yeah, and so like three three spells is just like automatic. See, like there's three spells already. So they just have to find something to deal with the Lee Sin, basically. Because the catastrophe is like the catastrophe is going to get stunned. I don't know why they have a blocker in front of the catastrophe. It's going to get stunned. Well, that's a good good news so far. They're only down to two mana left. No, they don't. They don't. They don't have anything to deal with the lease in. Okay. We'll take it. Dead in their tracks. GG's. Excuse me. A gift from 
Oh, I would have had another Pursuit of Perfection. You fought with honor. Trundle Trindamir. Trundlemir. What we got? Ooh, I love the pickpocket. Oh, why can't we have the attack token turn two? It's still pickpocket on three is good. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the rest. I could I could keep Will of Ionia for like later to bounce like Trindamir. Maybe I just keep that one. So as long as they don't have Vile Feast, we're hitting them. Yay. We can't Avalanche yet. We have here. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Flash Freeze. Eh, that could work. They're going to try to Atrocity their thing, and I'm going to Flash Freeze it, and it's going to be sweet. So not great against Avalanche, but oh well. They're playing Avalanche, they're not doing other things, and I'll just Spirit's Refuge and save my 3-2. Alright, next turn. Check out the goods on this one. What you got, Patch Porobot? Tough. Oh, what do we get? Vengeance. That's pretty nice. I think I'm going to just play Subpercival. See, Subpercival draws a card. We're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're at nine. So I don't know if I want to go Heimer and then they play Ruination. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go Heimer. Because how they're playing, they're kind of playing like they have Ruination, right? Like they're, they're not doing anything else. You know what? You know what? We're going to do it. They still have to take a turn off to do that. And even if they do have that, then I'll still like get excited something and get a turret. Oh, they had that avalanche. Ouch. Now, obviously, they don't need to ruination. So, nine mana, enough for Will of Ionia and Chen. Like, they played Trindamir. I walk the space between worlds. So, that's four? Four? <laughs> We've only played four spells. My father's blade. Alright, so even if they kill Heimerdinger, we at least got a 4-1. And we're getting closer for Sub Percival now. In I mean, I hope they don't have a third avalanche. That'd be ridiculous. Okay, good. <laughs> like, come on, don't have that. Dang. Well, that's not too bad either. So only eight mana. I don't get to go patch Porobot and Vengeance. The trolls are going to war. <clears throat> yep, that's pretty good. Unspeakable horror is still great. We're at seven now. Screams pierce the darkness. <laughs> So much power, man. I'm, I'm kind of 
is good on three people or is. That card is very, very good. Alright, we'll stun there. That's nine. We'll create Ephemeral Shadow Fiend. Never mind. We'll not create Ephemeral Shadow Fiend. We're at nine. Guess I'm just doing it just to get to ten. Uh, I don't have Will of Ionia up right now. We'll be able to save three spell mana for next turn. Um, no, no, no. So next turn we'll have um, like Will and Heimer and one of these two. Boo. The Kinku. Face me. Just curious. Well, it's a little curious that they felt, um, you know, Shen was better than Subversible and a 5 5 elusive in this game, at this point of the game. Your attack is obvious. I want to play Lee Sin first. But I don't really have a great option after playing Lee Sin, and then again, if they're just gonna, you know, they can ruination, and that would be a wonderful ruination for them. Man, I want to bounce my Subpersible. I may really need Will of Ionia. So they're gonna have 9 9 Trindomir still, and you know, they're, they're still gonna be putting more Trundles and Trindomirs in play. Will of Ionia is kind of my only thing against Ruination right now. Oh, sorry, sorry, Atrocity. It's, only my, my, it's my only thing against Atrocity right now. So I am opening myself up to Atrocity. By doing this, but at least we're drawing an, an additional card. We don't need another one of those. So, so that's 15, 16. We're getting close. Yuck. That's not good. I wanted that card with my stand united pretty bad for blocking the two things. Yeah, kinda needed that. It's always cold in the brilliant. Beware the dragon spirit. Bow to your king. The the O eight should be challenging my five five. Well, I guess it depends on what they have. If they have like atrocity, they should be doing that. Get ready for a beat down. I will not hold back. Alright, so Atrocity kills me, like, no matter what I do, right? Like, even if I block here, we're, like, real dead to Atrocity. But the problem with block here is all they need is, like, anything that targets this, and then my Subpersible dies. 
So maybe I just don't... Yeah, I guess I just don't even worry about Atrocity. I'll just block here. And we go to two. They've already played multiple Unspeakable Horrors, but they could have one. They've played two so far. They could have one more. So I don't want to go to one. No, we're playing Constructed. We're just playing a Pursuit of Perfection deck. Which, you know, makes you want to play Singleton. Okay. Dragon. So if they have Atrocity, I lose, but if they don't, maybe a 30-30 kills them? So that's 19. Mushroom Cloud will be 20. Only two cards in hand. Please, please just both you. Hopefully they're both units. And they can't stop this. We have pursued perfection. Which way is a game? Is it game we win or game they win? You'll need more than that. We've already seen two Frostbite cards, two Vengeance from their deck. Control <laughs> Chant saves a little bit of life. But there we go! Catastrophe! Great win here, GG. Two and O. Oh. Still the ah oh, same matchup. We are playing the longest games today. All right, we'll just have our pickpocket. We're gonna have the twin disciplines protect pickpocket. What are all this Poro Cannon's doing in here? I'm pretty that, that out yet. Good, no Vile Feast. Yoink. Yoink. That was the first card we took last time, too. Take a stance and hold it. Like opportunity. Tough spot here of whether to block or not. Alright, they did. Down to 13. Come on in. Am I casting this dragon's protection? I think so. You're under our protection. You can see the Nebastian border from here. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this Poro Cannon. It does count as multiple cards. Yeah, I was hoping that we could... Yeah, so like, this doesn't nab them the out of their deck. But I was kind of hoping that we would find... Like, War Mother's Call. Like, that would be a pretty cool card. To get. It's another really good avalanche. Yet another really good avalanche. Evidently logical. Lady Elise, where are you? Hmm. That egg, did it move? Man, they got the blockers. I haven't really seen Hapless Aristocrat too much in this kind of deck. But yeah, Hapless Aristocrat, Kindly Tavern Keeper. Maybe they're not War Mothers. Like, th these aren't cards you want to play in War Mothers. So maybe they're not War Mothers? What will you have? This one's 
on the house. What's this you got there? Mm. Black. See, I want to use my flash freeze later. You know, like, we could use Will of Ionia there, too, but I don't think that's a very good play. I think we'll just wait, I guess. We're at 8 for Sub Percival. If I don't want Kinku Life Blade out there, I could I could discard Kinku Life Blade to Poro Cannon, and that's 9, and then play a Daring Poro, that's 10, and then play Sub Percival. Or I get the Elusive Life Steal. Step Probably want the Elusive Life Steal. I go unseen. The do, do, of course, always need to worry about ruination. Like, this, don't want to extend too, too much. Alright, Choo Choo, have a great night. Thank you so much. That gives me number 10. Alright, so where we're at, we're at 9 out of 12. I could also discard the turret and make two daring poros. But I think the turret's better. Like the tough is a good blocker against these hapless aristocrats that are pretty annoying. Dragon's Rage. One smack will do. Ice Pillar is so good. This is the card they need to tune down, not really trundle. Gonna let them kill my six one. Engines don't determine themselves. Let's go down to four. I don't really like that. Eyes open. I'm trying to vengeance Heimerdinger still? Yeah, Heimerdinger is about to level up. I can bounce Heimerdinger. I have to let it go. I think this this portal cannon should probably be something else. A card that does something. Ren Shadow Blade. Uh, the good news is they are they are wasting a ton of spells, right? Like they don't have very much left. They are using a ton of these um, these frostbite spells and everything. Alright, we're gonna try to make a, a new sub Percival. Be impatient on the recall trundle. Your end comes. That recall trundle may be something I need to save Pursuit of Perfection, like my catastrophe.
And that's why I didn't Will of Ionia before. Wanted to be able to save it for that. King of Trolls coming through. If they have something that stops this pursuit of perfection, I'm in a lot of trouble. I think this is my best play. Because, like, what if they Ruination? I guess they don't have very many cards left either. If they Ruination, I'd have a Static Shock to draw a card. Hopefully it works. Yeah, flash freeze. Still, we have Dragon's Rage next turn. Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah, I think so. I'm not. I'm not going to be killing the Avaros and Sentry. Of course, I don't want them drawing a card. Alright, not bad. Alright, I think that means we're gonna win. I'm feeling the rush. Feeling the rush. Dragon's Rage, a 30-30. Get this 10-10 out of here. Let's go. That was pretty easy. Wow. Dude, all three of these games have been insane. All right, like an hour and five. All right, looks like we're gonna have another long one. Yeah, Catastrophe's won us all three games so far. That's awesome. These are just all good cards, but I don't know if they're good at stopping 1-7s and 2-6s. But we will find out. Starspring is the card I want to see the least. Right, like Starspring is just like a landmark. I can't deal with a landmark. But I don't want to see any Starspring. Silver I thought for gold I Okay. Um so I know I could have Mystic Shot at the 2-2, but the reason why I didn't, I mean the Fortune Croaker made me pay. But the reason why I didn't was they could just guiding touch um in response, and that's kinda rough for me. So I guess we're doing nothing this turn. Gotcha that thing. I'm going to just save the spell mana instead of using gotcha on that 2-2. So I have spell mana for after playing these champions. Like basically, what do we do against Tom Kench is the question. Don't know. But I, I think that it is Shen. And then I attack. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. Then I have plus three, plus zero, and gotcha. I have those seven mana worth of things to try to stop Tom Kench from eating stuff. We'll do that one first. Gotcha would get stopped by Bastion. I could also just use Sonic Wave. I guess that's the better thing to do. Even though I, you know, I don't get the Challenger, it's still just one card. It's three mana instead of four, 
and it makes it it's much more difficult for them to keep the Tom Kench alive now. Never mind. You had your chance to walk away. You name it, I'll nick it. What are the chances? I mean, those those are just gonna be trading, like basically no matter what I do. There's no reason to take extra damage. What are the chances the gotcha works? I have seven cards in hand. None of them save it. Doesn't look good. Excuse you. We're at five. Tenacity through trial. This could be six, seven, eight. As far as Lee Sind is concerned. So we can get Dragon's Rage going. I make shepherding look easy. Appetizers of plenty. I should have just played this before. Should have done this last turn. Pardon scales. So I don't want to play Lee Sin and then do play a slow speed card. Also. Tom Kench is always such a feels bad to lose to because you, it just, it's like a prison card where you can't do anything. It just locks you out of playing the game. Allow me a small sandwich. All shall drown in my magnificence. Our mountain groves are full of danger. I know them all. I call upon the dragon. Master! Alright, Lee Sin time. We'll have Lee Sin leveled up. With Challenger, the Tom Kench will survive, but Lee will put it'll put the Tom Kench back in their hand. As long as the Dragon's Rage works. Is all in the, mind. the dragon spirit awakens! Your so they need Bastion to not put that back in their hand, and the, the good part about putting it back in their hand, and obviously they have Bastion, never mind. I'd say the good part is getting rid of all these uh, pluses to the health. I'm going to the next game. CDs. It wasn't like that we were 100% dead, but we probably weren't one of them. Just for sanity's for time and sanity's sake, I'm going to the next one. Alright, mulliganing again. We don't need Subpersible right away, because we need to play a bunch of spells first. And gonna mulligan the Ren Shadow Blade as well, that needs to like strike to gain value against the deck that can brittle steal it, and it's a four mana card. Alright, we got two, three, elusive for a bot. That's a really good for a bot to get. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Alright, got that elusive. Yeah, un unyielding spirit on Tom Kench. 
is pretty unfair. Off we go! Slow down. We're actually an elusive deck. I can Poro Cannon, discard like the scales of the dragon, and then do Sown Seeds and make two two ones. Or I just discard the Sown Seeds and they're one ones. And I still have Scales of the Dragon. That's probably the better option. Let the bloodshed begin. Yep, it hurt. That's not a good brittle steel. That's just well uh, that's just worse than a health potion. Safeguard our homes. Yeah, like they just played a brittle steel, it was worse than a health potion. Alright, so Percival, five out of ten. A true Felyorian welcome. I taste purple. Yay. Patience. I don't really want to let them draw a card. I'm not going to be killing them. Hey. It's okay. I'm not going to kill the 2-1. I don't want I don't want to draw a card. Full chant. They've used a lot of cards, though. I guess they have just as many cards in hand as I do. It feels like they've used a lot of cards. Basically, I feel like I gotta use Stand United this turn. Shut down this Katarina. I'm through waiting. Who are you? Oh. Right. That's not frostbiting the Katarina. Oh, that didn't work. Not and ready. Take a stance and hold it. The That's alright, we're still fine. We're still fine. Don't test me. We're down to two. Mm, alright, I guess I guess our life total is getting too low and I have to block. Here, I don't want to. We were fine until this troll chant. I don't really have any other option. I wanted to retreat the thing that was blocking the Katarina so they wouldn't get to put the Katarina back in their hands. Don't really have an option here. Yeah, they're running out of cards, but they got all these lethal attackers. I mean, I messed up the Stand United, obviously, so... I can kind of only blame myself. Why are these things slow speed? 
Need them to be faster. But, uh, Arachnoid Sentry. GG's. I don't even see Arachnoid Sentry across by team. I don't know. GG's. Those first three games were awesome, all three of them, with Catastrophe winning. Um, I obviously messed up that last one really bad with the Stand United. That was embarrassing, but um, still, I think our deck did pretty well. Um, I don't know if this is, you know, like optimized or anything. You know, like, there's the thing is, is just in this game in Legends of Runeterra, basically all these cards are playable in some in some form or fashion, depending on like what happens. With the games, you know, like if you, you know, would you rather have like Nopify in here, you know, go ahead, you know, like um, there's so many different things that you could play. I did like, I did like the Scales of the Dragon. I thought that was a pretty good card. Um, I'm not so sure about the Poro Cannon. Didn't love that one. I'm not sure about like Herald of Spring um, or Young Witch. Young Witch doesn't seem to have too big of an impact, but um, overall, there's just a lot of cool stuff in here. Ren Shadow Blade, I don't know. I don't know though. Like it, it's not like anything was was uh, terrible. Um, yeah, I think it. I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I don't know if there's like more protection you can have, or maybe more card draw. Like go get it. Go get it. Seems like it would work really well in this deck. Um, for like a, a Heimerdinger or something, but um, yeah, still got to do some really cool uh, catastrophe things and so uh you know real happy about that all right those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well always love seeing those but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video